Hey guys, what's up? It's Katie and I'm back with another Marvel Contest of Champions video and today we are going to be looking at the version 27.1 release notes. Yes, the new update is just around the corner. So let's take a look and see what Kabam has planned. The escape is underway. Summoners having just barely escaped from an odd holding cell, Tigra and Hitmonkey must now join forces to shake off their pursuers and find out who is behind them being locked up. While being pursued, they start to investigate the circumstances of their captivity. What they discover is that there is a bigger plot at play with somebody pulling the strings from the shadows. With cat-like reflexes and assassins cunning, help these two scour the battle realm to get revenge on their captors when the event quest Samurai's Journey lands on June 3rd. So with that being said, it is obvious that Tigra and Hitmonkey are entering the contest. They are June's new champions. So Tigra, as we all know, is Greer Nelson, uh, once held, once a superhero going by the name Cat, who was gravely injured pursuing members of Hydra. In an effort to save her life, her ex-boss performed an ancient ritual which resulted in her possession by Tigra, the greatest warrior from a race of humanoid cat people, whether she is leaping or alert or lunging, excuse me, keep your head down as Tigra soars into the contest. So I really hope that Tigra is um, a mystic champ. I really hope they don't make her science or tech um, because her origins are based in the mystic arts. So I would love to see her as mystic. And we've been getting a lot of mystics lately. So I could see why Kabam would turn away from her being mystic. But to me, she's got to be a mystic champ. And then we have Hitmonkey. <laughs> we hope you like animals, or excuse me. This dapper little guy was just an ordinary monkey until his tribe gave sanctuary to an on-the-run assassin. Mercenaries came and killed both the assassin and the rest of Hitmonkey's tribe. Oh no! So Hitmonkey took up the fallen assassin's weapons and swore vengeance against both those responsible and all others who call themselves mercenaries. Now Hitmonkey is kind of cool for those of you who don't know. He actually has some tie-ins with Deadpool and I'm not going to go into all of it, but Hitmonkey should definitely be skill. Um, I hope that he's kind of an awesome skill champ and he's not so much like Rocket version 2.0, but that's kind of what I have envisioned in my head. So let's, uh, let's continue on, shall we? All right, and then we have the island of Modoc. So ever since Modoc established his hotel, he's been working timelessly on his experimental champions, but the hotel is no place for his creations to live. So he's been sending them off to a secret secluded island to run for free. This is sounding a lot like Modoc's labs. Now the time has come for Modoc to harvest the fruits of his labors and it's up to the summoners to drop in and collect some samples for Modoc to study. Receive a sample collector every day from the special login calendar and use them to enter the island of Dr. Modoc quests and choose one of six class related paths. Okay, each fight along the path will feature a completely randomized buff. Uh, if you don't like the uh, excuse me, if you don't like the buff combination, you can reroll the set with a buff randomizer or use the brand new buff deleter to remove one buff, complete the quest to earn gold coins that you can exchange in Hotel Modoc's gift shop. So this is kind of, this is Modoc's labs. It's just rebranded. Now the buff deleter is new. I'm interested to see what that's going to be, how that's going to work out. If you're going to have to use units um, to use it, or if you get like one free buff deletion. So I'm interested to see how that's going to work out. So then you have Modox class use solo events. Uh, Dr. Modox challenge you, challenges you to use certain classes on certain days, win fights with a specific champion of the day to earn bonus points and earn even more points by using the class of the day in the island of Dr. Modox quests. There won't be any rank reward, rewards, but you will earn more, even more gold coins to spend in the Modox hotel. Okay, so... Um, it's kind of like uh, how we have now. They're introducing, Kabam has been introducing these special solo objectives. So that is what these are when you go into your objectives little tab there down at the bottom. Uh, so you can go ahead and see what you need to complete. All right, and then we have MODOK contracts. 13 special objectives will appear at random times throughout the month. Complete these contracts by finding and defeating the champions listed on the special objective and collect your gold coins as a reward. These could appear at any time, so keep your eye on special objectives. It's kind of funny that they introduce Hitmonkey and you're they're putting a contract out. 
<laughs> on certain champions. <laughs> that kind of defeats the whole purpose of Hit Monkey, right? <laughs> anyway, moving on. <laughs> and then we have the Hotel Modoc store. Now that you've collected all of those gold coins, you need a place to spend them. Lucky for you, Modoc has opened the Hotel Modoc gift shop. Here you can spend all those gold coins on rank of materials like catalysts, items to help you tackle through content like potions, revives, or items to empower your champions like awakening gems or sig stone. So um, this is kind of cool. I don't know how much is e how much of each is gonna cost. I'm sure the awakening gem is probably going to be the most expensive or cost the most gold coins um, in Hotel Modoc store or Hotel Modoc's gift shop, I guess we can call it, right? Because hotels have gift shops. We're going to go with that. That's what we're going to call it. So this is kind of cool. These events are kind of nice like that, but the labs can kind of be a little bit frustrating. I do remember that. All right, so moving on to Alliance updates. So we have Alliance tickets. So basically with Alliance tickets, um, Map five is for free. So um, <clears throat> you use the tickets to enter the maps. Alliance tickets will replace the need to make donate donations, excuse me, to your Alliance treasury and give you the freedom to decide which resources you want to spend to take part in an Alliance quest on map six or seven. So there, I did post a longer video regarding this. If you haven't checked it out, I will put a link to that video in the description of this video so you can go check it out. And also a little known fact, uh, map five will be free. So if you guys, and you know, who are currently running map four and wanna check out map five, this will be the time to start checking it out since it will be free. So now let's get into some bug fixes. So the first one is with Annihilus. So, and that's with the enemy synergy that increases champion PI. So I don't have an Annihilus, so <laughs> this one, I don't really know anything about. Black Widow Clairvoyant fixed an issue where medium one and medium two attacks would sometimes not make contact and that can be detrimental. So it's good that that is getting fixed. Guillotine 2099 fix an issue where combo shield would activate when dexting an attack. As much as this would be super beneficial, I can see why it needs to be fixed because the combo shield activates when you land a heavy. So I can understand why that needs to be fixed. Howard the Duck will now start the fight with the correct armor with the correct number of armor up buffs. Um, I really wasn't paying attention. I didn't know if he was starting with maybe more or less. If anyone would let me know in the comments below, that would be great. Uh, moving on, Human Torch Familiar Faces Synergy increase the duration of the mist. Always a good thing. Um, Hyperion Special Attack to Wind Breath now properly tagged as a projectile, which technically I guess it is, right? Right. Judgment Day Synergy um, fix the issue where Black Widow Clairvoyant and Ghost Rider was, were not reducing the duration of unstoppable buffs. So this is important. Um, if it's supposed to decrease the duration of the unstoppable buff, then it should be doing that. And this was not working as intended. So I'm glad to see that fixed. Mr. Fantastic heavy attack will now pause the pre-fight ability buffs. Always good. Always a good thing with Mr. Fantastic. He works heavily off of debuffs. So this is perfect. All right. And then we have the science experiment synergy with Cap Infinity War fixed the issue where it was not modifying the damage output of Iceman's Cold Snap debuff, debuff at the start of the fight. This is important. Uh, this is great for there's an Iceman in Act 6. So I could see people maybe wanting to use Cap for that to, you know, re to modify the damage output of that Cold Snap debuff. All right, Sorcerer Supreme fixed an issue where the special two wouldn't always pause the rune timer. This is important. In her abilities, it says that the special two will pause all, um, uh, excuse me, will pause all runes. So this needs to be fixed. So I'm glad that's getting addressed. And then there's something here with a weakness will now react to other modification to its target attack rating while active. So this is good. I run uh, resonate. So because I do run void. So having the weakness on there, always a good thing. All right, and finally, with we've got two with Weapon X where they fixed an issue where he was not immune to all regeneration rate modifications. Um, this, if you're fighting against Weapon X, this could kind of kind of kick you in the butt, right? Right. And then also added a top champion portrait for summoner profile. So this is for everyone who has Weapon X who got him as the um, Legends run. And then Perry, this one, this one I think is very important and I wanna spend a little bit more time talking about it, is fixed an issue with timing after a five hit combo against some older champions. So I've actually noticed this against champions like Star-Lord where I'll go in for a five hit combo and go to Perry and it doesn't register or um, Star-Lord doesn't actually try to make, doesn't make contact with me. So 
I do think this is good. I know a lot of people have issues with Perry, so I feel like this is a good fix. Hopefully it's implemented well. Um, but anyways, guys, that's all that I got. Let me know in the comments below, what do you think of the version 27.1 update? Who are you most looking forward to, Tigra or uh, Hitmonkey? What do you think of Modox Labs making a return? Let me know in the comments below and let's discuss. As always, guys, thanks so much for watching. If you guys liked what you saw and you want to see more, please remember to like and subscribe. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter and hit me up in the Discord chat. Thanks, guys. Bye.